video we will learn how to represent numbers like 1 by 3 square root of 2 square root of 3 on number line please note that 1 by 3 is a recurring non terminating fraction and therefore if we have to write 1 by 3 it will be 0 0.3 the 3 being repeating and this type of number we are not able to represent accurately on number line but for geometrical construction because 0 0.33 means 0 0.33333 and so on so as this number is in decimal form never takes the exact value however granular or we expand the number line we will not be able to go to the exact point however if we are just representing this is 0 and this is 1 and 2 so we can see that and we can divide this into 10 parts like this then this is 0 0.1 0 0.2 this is 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.4 so it will lie somewhere here so approximately we can put the value but we cannot put the value exactly but for, by geometrical construction we can represent the number on the number line so we draw the number line this is 0, this is 1, this is 2 and this is minus 1. After that we draw another line which is at some angle to the number line. So suppose we draw at an angle of either 45 degree or 30 degree or whatever number we can whatever angle we want to draw we can draw this line so i'll take these are two set of set squares and we need this for construction so if you want to draw an angle of say 30 degree then we can draw something like this after that what we do is because it is 1 by 3 so we will draw this line to a scale which is easy to divide into three, three parts say for example we can measure this and we can say this is one this is two and this is three so into so this is like equal measures so I have drawn like 3 centimeter, sorry 4 centimeter, 4 centimeter, 4 centimeter. Now whatever point we get, this point we connect, we join this with this. Now so suppose this is point A and this is point B. Now what we need to do and therefore we get this line AB. Now if we draw a line parallel to AB connecting these two points and how to draw a parallel line. So for drawing a parallel line what we need to do is we need to put one square one set square like this and another like this and then we need to slide the upper one so and hold this one and then slide so for example if you want to draw a parallel line from here so we hold it here similarly we want to draw a parallel line from here so we will get it 
So this is the way we have drawn two parallel lines. And as this is one third part, one third part, one third part of line OB, suppose this is O, and therefore the parallel line will also be equal to the one third part. So this will become one three and this will become two three. So these are the two points which are represented on number. So this is the way we can represent 1, 3 or any other fraction geometrically on the number line. Now we will see how to represent square root of 2. So we Now again square root of, of 2 is an irrational number and and irrational number cannot be represented in the exact form in the exact form in decimal or in fraction therefore as such we are not in a position to represent the accurate value on the number line but by this method which I am explaining now we are able to so this is 1 this is 2 on the number line so we draw a perpendicular to the number line like this. So we again take set square for drawing the perpendicular. So let me draw perpendicular using a set square. So, so it will be like this. We draw and then whatever is the major here. So we draw the same major here. And then we connect this point with this point. We connect this point with this point. Now this is one unit and this is also one unit. So what will be the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse will be hypotenuse will be equal to one square plus one square under root. So this will be 1 plus 1 under root. So this will be equal to under root 2. So this length will be equal to under root 2. And if we take a compass and we open like this and then draw a line like this, then this much distance will be equal to so this is suppose a and this is b and this is c so ob will be equal to oc and this is reflection of under root 2 so this is the point which is because this point ob is hypotenuse is equal to also equal to oc so this is how we have drawn under root 2. Now suppose if we want to draw under root 3, then what we need to do is we build over this construction itself to uh, have under root 3 and for that what we need to do is we draw a perpendicular on this line and again we take one unit, one unit and then we join join point O to this point. So suppose this point is point D. Now O D equal to O D square equal to O B square plus B D square which is equal to under root 2 square plus 1 square. Okay. So this will be equal to 2 plus 1. So OD will become equal to the under root of this number. So this is under root of 3. Therefore this becomes under root 3. Again we take compass like this and draw and we will get this point as under root
So in this video what we have seen is that we can represent non-terminating fraction like 1 by 3 and irrational number like square root of 2 and square root of 3 on number line by geometrical construction. Thank you.